Hello? Every time when CJ enters the wardrobe to choose a new outfit for himself, in a room with a large mirror and surfboards you can see this cool stereo system, with which the developers wanted to visualize the source of the music playing in this interior. I'll tell you a little secret. The music in this interior plays regardless of the presence of this stereo system and it is noted in the list of audio zones at certain coordinates. But now is not about that. You can see this tape recorder of the same model at Sweet's house, found it in the in the Doherty garage, in some of CJ's houses, and another one is located in the lounge on the territory of aircraft carrier in San Fierro. And in the burglary side mission, this tape recorder appears as an object that can be stolen. But what is this stereo system? Why exactly this model of stereo electronics was honored to be present in the game? Once, in January 2002, young guys from Connecticut, who are fond of radio and golden age retro electronics, visited the Yed Sonic Electronics Store during their trip to New York, about which they published a post on their internet blog Pocket Calculator Show, which is called exactly the same, as well as their radio program about their hobby. I wouldn't be surprised if I found out that this photo of Yed Sonic storefront is the only one that has been preserved in the public domain, since there is almost no information about the store itself. And so, as I already said, the guys went to the store in order to take pictures of rare and already outdated audio equipment, among which was the Japanese Victory Components V157 subwoofer and the last digit in the model here meant the number of speakers. I think that fans of the GTA San Andreas storyline could not miss him in the last cutscene with the big bear. And now please note that the guys did not take this photo to create a texture and the front of the subwoofer is partly covered by some object that remained on the texture in-game, and we can notice this both in the cutscene and considering the resources of this video game. In September of the same 2002, a couple of posts appeared on the Pocket Calculator Show blog, where you could see a photo of the Sharp GF8686 boombox, which the blog authors got for just $10 at the flea market. This boombox is also present in the GTA San Andreas game and there are even some distinguishing features in the photo that are identification marks that this particular photo was used. But, unfortunately, the player does not have the opportunity to see this electronics because it is in the old B-Dub apartment, which the player cannot get inside without hacks, and in the only cutscene where this interior is shown to us, this boombox is simply not visible due to darkness. And also the camera does not turn in the direction of the place where he lies. This is no exception and in this interior there are many more objects that can't be seen by player, although they were probably created to fill this interior. And another September post on the Pocket Calculator Show blog shows this stereo called the Lloyd's V330. That is, millions of players in GTA San Andreas saw in the game the same large Strero system of a budget brand, which was taken from the photo from this blog. To create the texture, only the right speaker and the middle part with the tape recorder were involved. You can see this if you compare the contents of the texture with the original photo. The last entries in the Pocket Calculator Show blog were made in 2013, but despite this, as of 2023, the blog is still available for viewing. Most likely, developers of the Rockstar Game Studio simply borrowed photos from the Pocket Calculator Show blog due to the fact that there were not too many photos of such electronics on the internet at the time when the developers were creating objects for the game. Why was the choice focused specifically on these units of electronics? I guess these it seemed worthy for displaying boomboxes, speakers and stereo systems from the time of the storyline in the game despite the fact that the game has many errors and historical inaccuracies when we encounter objects that did not yet exist in 1992 and appeared later. In any case, now they are in the game and thanks to this blog and its authors, this models of retro electronics that we can see in the blog posts are present in the game. Press like button if you liked this video. See you later.